Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. So we have a four-year-old baby came with complaints of this bowing of legs. A very classical picture. What can we appreciate? What do you think is one of the leading cause for bowing of legs or widening of wrist in the patient? So the best answer for this question is rickets. So top 20 points on rickets. Number one, it is a disease of growing bones. It is not a disease of static bones. It is a disease of growing bones. So that's why it is seen in children. Number two, the meaning of rickets is twisted where the hands or the legs become twisted. Now, what is the cause? See the hand of this patient, this can we appreciate this widening of wrist in this patient? So these are beautiful classical signs of, of the, you know, vitamin D deficiency rickets. Now, what are the various causes? Causes, the five top causes we can think of in this condition. Number one, nutritional vitamin D deficiency rickets, where there is basically exclusive breastfed infants basically can land, land up into this problem because breast milk is deficient in vitamin D. Number two, we can think of nutritional calcium deficiency rickets where uh, reduced a restricted intake of uh, dairy products can have this problem. Then we have non-nutritional causes of rickets like we have like I'm eating well, everything is good, but I have an enzyme deficiency which is divided into vitamin D dependence ricket type 1 where you have 1 alpha hydroxylase deficiency and the second one is vitamin D dependence ricket types 2 where you have end organ resistance and the enzyme is very well working. So now my question is that what is the treatment guidelines for nutritional rickets if the child is more than one year old? Put your answer in the comment section. It's a very important topic. Please take care and thank you.